Chris and Nick with Team Aquascape here. We've got an exciting episode showing you what we do when it's doing this outside. Snowing! Home show season, baby. While it's doing this outside, preventing us from working outside, getting shovels in the ground, digging ponds like we normally do. This time of year, we really focus on marketing ourselves out to our, our customer base. And what that means for us is what? Home shows. <laughs> like, bam, home shows, bam, home shows. No, but that's right, guys. We've really developed kind of a process for us, just like we have the 20 products and 20 steps for building ponds. We're also trying to develop a process for us to streamline our home shows and really make them efficient and profitable in trying to bring customers in. So high impact, but also getting them done effectively and efficiently, you know, the game. Why don't we show you what we're up to and show you how this process works. The idea was is we just want to basically create our enclosures, which is what all these little pieces are. We built this last year. We want to break this whole pallet down, set it up on the floor. We designed this as a 16 by 20 or a 20 by 20 foot booth. We did, I think, two, three, three. Using, using this same kit. So we're like, what the heck? Why waste it or try and rebuild or reinvent it every single show? So we kept all this stuff. So we're going to set up the layout on the floor, find out what missing pieces we have, and then just kind of clean it up. Make sure it's gonna be nice and ready to go when we set down for the first home show this year. Inside this booth, we have a pondless waterfall and then three fountainscapes. The salt rocks, which are a big seller for us, stack slate, spillway wall, and I think we're gonna show you guys the new spheres this year. We wanted to make this thing a piece of cake to set up every time. The hair is phenomenal. Look at that. Whoa. Label these pieces. All right, if you guys are going to do it like this. So you can see we've got all these numbers and letters. Basically, that's just to let us know we should find another board that says C 1.2 and it joins in right here. It's like seeing a unicorn. <laughs> After seeing the design, you can see we've got our three different sections here. This area right here has a couple fountainscapes in it. Same as over here, another fountainscape area. This area is where we showcase our little pondless waterfall on top of the large aqua basin. The theme with uh, these little home shows that we do, we wanna be quick in and out. We don't want these large massive projects. There's nothing easier for us to set up than fountainscapes. And we're trying to get people to get involved and get started into water features. And these are nice entry level projects that either homeowners themselves can look at and be like, oh, I could probably do that myself. Or they look at something like the small Palace waterfall and think that's a great way to dip my feet into the whole water feature lifestyle. Just checking in, I want to show you kind of what we're doing. So yesterday we set out all the pieces, made sure we had everything. We were missing a couple, so you can see behind me. Where is he? Right there. Carlos is uh, is painting this, and then we're gonna repalletize it once it's all dry and get it ready to ship out for our show. So. So here we go guys, I got the truck pulled into the shop as you can see behind me here. This is our 2016 Isuzu NPR XD. It has the roll off bed, so it, as well as dumping, this whole bed articulates up. Once it's up on an angle like this, it'll roll off the back. So that bed will actually get down and drop on the road or the pavement. That's a huge help to us, saves us some energy. Four door cab, so we got plenty of room in here for guys equipment, anything that we can uh, haul to the job site. The one problem that we've been having though, when we put our tools in here, you can imagine with no storage or anything, our tools are just getting beat up. So we're gonna end up putting the toolbox, an undermount toolbox right in here.
Guys, we're always trying to do things a little bit more efficiently here. Um, this gravel that we're using for our home shows is super, 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 super dirty. And as you guys know that do home shows out there, you want to make a great first impression. What we're doing is we are pre-rinsing all the gravel that we're going to be using, put it into five gallon buckets, palletize it, and then continue to reuse this gravel. We are only going to need about a quarter to a third of a ton of gravel. They're rinsing it out in the bags um, and then dumping it into the bucket to rinse it out even further. The little bit of time that we're spending today will save us hours in the long run setting up and tearing down these shows. So thanks guys, really appreciate it. So we're gonna catch up with Nick and Juan right now. I think they're mounting a toolbox onto our truck. What you guys doing? Working. Working it. That's where you connect the remote to have the bed go up and down and use the winch, right? Totally. The problem is, by the time this box got up here, we covered this up. Basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of wiring here, yep. but this is now gonna move inside this box. So it'll still, it'll still be weatherproof. Look at the brain on you guys, that's awesome. This will keep everything nice and secure. It goes in one place every single night when we get done with a job, and then we know exactly where it is. Much like the rest of this area, is everything has its spot. Thank goodness we have multi-talented teammates like Nick and Juan. I wouldn't be able to figure this out. That's just not my skill set. I'm much more of the... Mm. If you guys remember earlier in the video, we have talked about trying to create home show kit, kind of a consistent product list so that we can continue to put this thing together almost mindlessly after we've done it a handful of times. So I'm gonna turn the camera on and kind of show you the preparation side of the project and show you what we got cooking. We've got all the product pulled. I gave Jenna a product list for this show as well as all the rest of them moving forward. To reduce on time, we took a lot of the stuff out of the packaging. So it's less crap, we gotta clean up at the show itself and bring it back. Set ourselves up with a large patio pond and we'll have the toucan spinner, the 1100 and the 1500. Those are gonna be used for uh, basalt columns. Here's all of our aqua blocks in through here. We've got 30 of them, they're all smalls. We're gonna use those between the three different reservoirs. We're gonna see if we can't do something funky through that little hole right there, maybe dribble some water down through there. Into the pondless waterfall, we've got a roll of liner here. We just wanna ship it in one roll and we'll cut off what we need. At that point, that's a 20 by 50, which is more than enough. The last two pallets we have, folks, is this one, which is the pre-built walls and then all of the kind of enclosures, you can see them. We've got cardboard in between all of them so they don't scuff up and scratch while they're in transit. Now, it's not the sexiest looking gravel. It's great for going over top of the aqua blocks. We will put GeoGrid down underneath the gravel on top of the aqua blocks so that the small stuff doesn't fall through but having this size gravel reduces splash uh, and it's super easy to clean up let me show you outside there's our Zuzu over there we're gonna hook that up to our dump trailer here are the two pallets of stone that we're gonna take with us Juan did a fantastic job picking some of this stuff out really really cool moss rock we've got some very thin pieces up in there that will sit down on the basin look at the lichens and stuff people are they just go wild for the moss rock and I love love building with it and then we are also going to be bringing our box truck just to keep things enclosed so that we can transport plants from Wasco nursery and all that good and good stuff Monsters. now that you guys have seen all the material that we're bringing it is time to load this Stuff up. So we just showed up at the Athletic Center in Aurora. This is the area behind me where the home show is gonna be set up. Our booth is back over in there. We actually beat everybody else here this morning, which is pretty typical of these home shows. If you're doing them, just be kind of prepared for that and keep that line of communication open. I always say please and thank you so that the, you get a little bit of preferential treatment. So check this out. The cavalry has arrived. You guys ready? Yep. All right, follow me, all right? Alright, so you guys can see we've got liner going in for our different reservoirs. Right now, um, Nick is fixing up the liner, getting all the folds out so that we can lay that trim piece 
right over the top uh, and get a nice clean even level piece of trim so it looks nice and neat um, we're gonna have aqua blocks in here aqua blocks in there and a handful of aqua blocks in here for our pondless waterfall um, everything kind of back in here will all be plants we're putting double fabric so that when we put the liner in and then the fabric for the aqua box we could pull this piece of fabric that's on top of this piece of fabric back and then backfill with some mulch and sand uh, back in there just to fill that void space um, the reason we have fabric down under everything we don't have a lot of cleanup to do after the fact it's looking really really good the guys are working together great as a team we've got some reinforcements from the service team over there we've got jerry roy and josh hammered together aqua blocks it's looking awesome now that we've got kind of the not so fun part out of the way and that's just prepping everything we're going to start unpackaging all the product out of here. You can see it's kind of an, uh, a, a unique shape. And the reason we have those little pockets in there is we're going to actually bring plants up close to those aqua box. We really want to soften everything up. This is going to be our stack slate collection. Again, pondless waterfall back there and then basalt rocks right there. Things are progressing quite nicely, I would say. The guys are over here finishing up the pondless waterfalls, just mulching, kind of going through, working our way out. We ended up putting the patio pond with the toucan spitter right there. Nick did a fantastic job with the basalt rocks. How do you feel about the basalt? Personally or about this one? Both. I like them today and I like them every day. Yeah. <laughs> that might have been the creepiest little laugh. I personally love the basalt rocks. I think they are an excellent vertical element with flowing water in any setting. This is the uh, stack slate sphere wall combo and then we're going to have the urn set up over there. That one will not be plumb but we will have a light. I love the organic shape of the gravel where it meets the, uh, the mulch over here. There's kind of the side profile. Alright Skin, what do you think? This literally was six and a half hours of a couple guys doing this and it looks Killer. We've got members of the service team. Having Roy. a great time. Always enjoy uh, participating in, in these events and you can see how beautiful these features are and everyone should have one in their backyard. He's a salesman <laughs> through and through. <laughs> it's always awesome when it really comes together. It was fairly seamless. We ran into a couple snafus, but check this booth out. 